What's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to view the new Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Collection. So you guys want to see what my thoughts are on this, what type of lip or look I do. Well, I kind of already did a look. Well, then definitely keep on watching. All right, guys, so last week, Lunar Beauty launched a brand new spring collection. They launched their cheek blush palette along with new three lip glosses. Now, the palette itself does retail for $35. It actually is currently sold out on the website. Like, go Manny, that's freaking awesome. And the lip glosses are available individually. They are $17 a piece, but the bundle set to buy all three together is actually sold out as well. And that retail for $40. Now, you actually could, when the launch happened, buy all this together for a wonderful bundle price for 60 bucks which i think is freaking amazing but when the launch happened i literally was able to buy it like two hours beforehand i don't know how that was possible uh i somehow was on google and i went on to his page but i went to like the product page and i saw it there so like i bought it i told Paige about it she bought it and i was like oh my god i can't believe we got this stuff so early i tweeted it out to manny to let him know like hey your stuff is already available online and they took it down off the website so i'll put a little video right here of me looking at it going um this is kind of weird <laughs> but um I was so surprised that literally the same day that I bought this, it literally shipped out that same day. And I was like, wait, what? You literally shipped this out the same day? It was actually supposed to be delivered this past Saturday. It got all the way to Orlando, Florida, and then it just got stuck at the post office. It didn't make it on the truck in time. So unfortunately, it wasn't delivered that day. Like it was said it was going to be delivered that day, but I understood because, you know, it's the mail and a lot of things run slowly right now. So I was completely understanding. I knew it wasn't going to come yesterday because it was Memorial Day, but I knew it was going to arrive today and I'm so excited. I normally don't buy any cheek palettes at all i'm not like the biggest biggest fan of cheek palettes but i was like you know what i really really love lunar beauty i think manny has done such a wonderful job with his collection and with his cosmetics brand as a whole like i loved my moon spell collection like that was such a fun video film his collection is fantastic and one of my favorite i mean like favorite liquid lips of all time is actually my Aphrodite liquid lip right here. Now this is part of the Greek Goddess collection. This right now is out of stock, but I did get an extra one in my mystery box back in November. Mikey also bought one for me as well because this is like my literally like my favorite. I this is my ride or die liquid lip. It's the best liquid lip I think I've ever ever freaking tried. It smells like vanilla cookies. It's so delicious. It stays on. It has a little bit of transfer, but that's okay. But it is just, it's the perfect red and it's so beautiful. I was really bummed out because Zaya was another lip gloss he had available at that time. I missed out on that launch and he hasn't restocked it ever since. And I was like, damn it. Manny, I want that. I literally have tweeted at him. Can you please restock this? And you haven't. <laughs> why you don't want to do that i don't know but i would really like a restock of that and i missed out and i know that like that was like part of the great goddess collection but i was like <sighs> but i don't want to miss out on this i knew i had to get it i'm actually wearing on my eyes right now i'm actually wearing the strawberry dream eyeshadow palette right here this is such a gorgeous gorgeous eyeshadow palette i picked it up a little while ago and if you actually open it up these are the shadows right here. I'm in love with Blue Diamond. Oh my God, it is the best. I'm wearing Blue Diamond mixed with Skyline and Sunrise right here with a little bit of Sunset underneath my waterline. It is such a wonderful palette and it smells good. And it smells good. So I think I have tried his lip glosses. I tried the Enchantment that came in the Moose Spell Collection, but when I saw these are all like nude colors for lip glosses, I was like, bitch sign me up and the fact that like he literally sent these out right away i'm still so blown away at how fast the shipping was and the reason why i say that and i know that like things are different now because we're in this weird state of the world we're in the pandemic but i ordered something from jeffree star cosmetics on april 28th and it still hasn't shipped out yet and i understand things are going to be a lot slower but i was like damn it's been pretty much a month and this I literally ordered last wednesday and it's already here <laughs> that's insane so I pretty much did my whole face minus the cheeks and highlighters because I wanted to use this palette along with my lips. It feels so weird talking with like a naked lip. I don't like it, but bitch, look at how gorgeous this is. This is freaking stunning. It literally matches the Strawberry Dream palette right here. These are such beautiful, beautiful palettes like that. 
I really love these dykes. I love the coloring. I love the way that it feels. It's very, very nice texture. He did a wonderful job with this for sure. Oh, these have a little sweet smell to it as well. Nice. So I am not like the biggest fan of having like a lot of blush. I like a very, very peachy blush, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to give this a try. So when you see all the colors right here, I will swatch them on my hand for you guys so you guys can check them out. I think it definitely has a like diverse shade range that you can use. And I know that you don't have to just use these just for a cheek. You can also use these for eyeshadows if you wish to do so as well. Okay, so right here on my hand, I did swatch all colors. The very first one, we're gonna have Pink Moon, followed by Twilight, Basey, Dole, Stargaze, and Gravity right here. Really, really nice blush palette. I think it's beautiful. Now, I kinda went for like a soft pinky look, so I think that's what I'm gonna go for today when it comes to my blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my blinked brush right here. This is the Rose Gold Edition. This is in the style F4. Now, if you guys don't know, I love my brushes. I have a whole collection behind me. It's what I use all the time. These are actually gonna restock on June 1st. The whole Rose Gold collection will be restocking June 1st. I'll make sure to link it down below. You guys go check them out. If you use the code Allie, you guys will save 10% off your purchase. And these are seriously are my ride to die. I do not go anywhere without my bling brushes. So I think for today's look, I think I want to mix a little bit of Pink Moon and Stargaze together. Kind of dip them in here very, very softly. Tap it off and I kind of went a little heavy handed with the blush a little bit. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my um, powder brush right here. I'm just gonna kind of blend that just a little bit more just cause I went a little heavy handed. Now I do know that you can go over with like your beauty sponge that you have your foundation on and kind of tap it down a little bit, but I'm just gonna buff it out because I do think it looks really pretty. Like when I mix the two together and I'm starting to buff it out more, it actually starting to look really pretty, very like soft glam. I'm not gonna lie though, these are such beautiful colors. That's actually really nice, really nice. Now I do know they have that little highlight one right here. It doesn't have to be used as a highlight, it can be used as a blush, but I'm not into like sparkly blushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Jaclyn Hill flash palette. And uh, I'm just gonna use a little bit of her highlight today. Wow, I didn't even realize that I'm using like an all influencer. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm actually am using like all, besides like the foundation, but my eyelashes are from D-Star Lashes. These are my style page and I'm using all influencer stuff right now. Wow, okay. So I'm gonna just lightly tap. I'm going the shade Iced. I really love Jaclyn's highlighters. I'm sorry, but I think that they are freaking fantastic. They're very beautiful. Now I'm gonna be honest, highlighting doesn't look always look the best on me because I have very, very textured skin. I have very large pores. So that's why I usually don't like to highlight my face a lot because of how bad my texture is. But you know what? I ain't going anywhere, so we're gonna shine today. Now on to my favorite part of this whole collection, and it is these lip glosses. You guys seriously have not tried out Luna Beauty's like liquid lips and lip glosses. Like, I don't, you guys, like you, you need to. They're seriously some of the best formers I've ever tried, and they're so, so soft. They glide on, they don't stick, and they smell freaking amazing, amazing. And I think the packaging on this, though, is still super cute, super cute. Oh my God, on the inside, it has cute little stars. I really love his theming. His theming is so cohesive and oh my god that looks so pretty i'm gonna swatch them all in my hand as well as my lips so you guys can see like what they look like okay so the first shade that we have right there is celine it's a beautiful reflective topper this will look great on any liquid lip that you have you can match it with so many different colors you can wear it by itself or you can wear it as liquid lips i'm gonna go ahead and just put on my lips to swatch it for you guys today and then we'll figure out what direction i want to go okay so this is celine by itself i may have gone like a little bit overboard applying it to my lips because this smells like a pure sugar cookie and it tastes delicious and i should not be eating it but do not tempt me with the wonderful smells first off but this is it by itself and i would honestly wear it by itself it does have a little bit of a gold reflect when you're wearing it by itself but i think it's absolutely stunning i definitely think this would look so good especially like on a perfect nude lip this would look so freaking beautiful on top you could like i said you wear this by itself or with others but i definitely think that either way you're going to be happy with the results of this and this is the shade celine beautiful all right the next shade we have right here this is the shade moon this is definitely a softer nude lip gloss right here and i'm wearing it currently on my lips now i necessarily wouldn't wear this one by itself i find it to be just a little bit too pale for my personal taste but i still i still feel like if you put this on top of like a nude lipstick this would actually look really beautiful with it for me i just find that it makes my lips look rather pale so i'm not really liking it by itself but i definitely think as another topper this would be so good to go for but this is the shade moon 
All right, and last but not least, we do have Starlight right here, and I'm currently wearing it on the lip, and I think this is such a beautiful, soft pink lip gloss. I think it's absolutely stunning. I could totally wear this lip gloss by itself on top of another like pinky liquid lip or like a nude liquid lip. I think this would be such a perfect combination together, but I definitely feel like with this, you can definitely wear it by itself. It is so freaking beautiful, and I really love it. I'm sorry if you guys hear loud noises. My freaking upstairs neighbors but i definitely think this is such a beautiful lip gloss and one that i'm definitely gonna probably gravitate to the most because it's so pinky and pretty and it's very soft and i really really like it so but let me go ahead and put this on top of a liquid lip to show you guys what i'm gonna mix it up with i'm actually gonna use my kylie cosmetics uh liquid lip right here this is in the shade savage freaking i love this liquid lip i'm probably gonna put this on top and then I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I went ahead and I put on the Kylie Cosmetics Savage Look Good Lip. I actually switched it up and I ended up putting on the shade uh, Celine right on top of it. I just feel like this would be a better combination than putting on the shades. Our lights so actually decided to go with Celine and I just think that it's so beautiful. It's like clear gloss, a little bit of gold reflex in it. And I think it's just absolutely stunning. It feels so comfortable on the lips. It's not sticky whatsoever. It did get a little bit in my hair because that was my own fault. So it sticks to the hair, but it doesn't actually stick on the actual lip itself. And I just think it's such a stunning lip gloss. I think overall this collection is really, really stunning. Now, is it worth what I paid for 60 bucks. I mean, in my mind, I definitely would say so because you get three uh, lip glosses and you also get the blush palette right here. I think it's cool because you have six different blushes that you could actually choose from. And like I said, they don't have to just be blushes. You can use them as eyeshadows as well. So I think that's awesome. They are sold individually. You guys can find them on Lunar Beauty. You guys can also find them at Sephora and Morphe. I'm, I'm assuming eventually it's going to be there once everything starts to open back up, but these are sold at Sephora as well. And I definitely think that Manny did such a good job with this collection. I think it's perfect in the time for spring. Spring. I think it's beautiful. I think the packaging matches the Strawberry Dreams so well. They really go hand in hand together. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think the lip glosses and the packaging right here go hand in hand with this as well. I think it did such a good job keeping everything cohesive and keeping it everything together. And like I said, I really, really love all his products, they work so well. His customer service is great. They got the shipping out so freaking fast. I mean, like literally same day, same day. That's freaking awesome. So I'm so glad I got this. So Manny, you did such a kick-ass job with this collection. I'm very happy and I'll have everything linked down below where you guys can find it. Like I said, the bundle is sold out online right now. So it's the lip gloss bundle, but they are sold individually. Still available on his website. So make sure you guys go check those out. And uh, so yeah, that's just my short little review. It's been a long time since I've done like a really just short review just on very small stuff, but uh, <laughs> that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post every other day, every day, just depending. Also, make sure you guys head on over to my other channels, all for the life. You guys can see my cool, wonderful, adventurous, amazing fiance, Corey. And as always, guys, I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye. Oh, just testing the audio. Oh, shit. Damn it! This broke. All right, guys. So, I just want to start off. All right, guys. So for to oh my gosh, <laughs> by itself, and you can. Hey, oh man, guys, I just probably should be ready to film, and I'm not ready to film. Oh, and they are, and they look really, really love you. <laughs> really, really nice eyeshadow. Really, really nice uh, highlight. <laughs>